guys welcome back this is Viren Kumar so today in this video session I am going to discuss about the ECL EMA plugin setup in the Eclipse and what is the ECL EMA plugin and why we use the ECL EMA plugin in the Eclipse so guys if you are working with a project that is not a Maven project and if you want to capture the coverage as well as the test and test coverage report then we can use the ECL EMA plugin uh, this is basically for when you are trying to cover the coverage on your local machine the, the project is set up on your local machine then what we have to do we have to configure this ECL EMA plugin in the Eclipse so there are some prerequisites you can see on the my screen the ECL EMA plugin require the Eclipse 3.8 or higher version and for that we need the Java 1.5 for the higher version okay now how we can uh, add the ECL EMA plugin to the Eclipse. So I can show you on my Eclipse how you can install it. So this is my Eclipse okay, and I have to go to the help version. Then you can see the Eclipse marketplace okay this is the search box under the Eclipse marketplace and there we can find the ECL -E -ma. and then you can search uh, you can see that ECL EMA plugin is a free Java code coverage tool for the Eclipse and you, there you can click on the install as I already installed to my Eclipse and then you can follow the installation wizard and you can click on the finish okay and once the ECL EMA plugin is installed on your Eclipse, then how can you verify the ECL EMA plugin is installed? So there is the next slide, the launching. Okay. So how you can launch the ECL EMA plugin? The, so you can see there uh, with the green and then there the square bracket. Okay. The first green in the half is the red. So this is, this is showing that now the ECL EMA plugin is configured to the Eclipse. So when you run with this one, it will run with the coverage. Okay, and this is the normal run or of our Java profile. And the second thing you have to check this coverage tab is there. Okay, so on that coverage, if you are seeing with this the green and the red symbol, okay, with the coverage tab, that means the ECL EMA plugin is installed on your Eclipse. There is the analysis mode and how we can import and the export. These things we will discuss after scanning the project. Okay, so for that I have the demo project test so not 12. Okay, you know how to create the Java project. So for that what you have to do, you go to the file new and add the project. Okay, and there if you want to create the Java project, you can click on the Java project and just say next, and there you can provide the name. Of the project okay and then you can use the default JRE or JDK 1.8 okay and you can use this specific JDK 1.8 this is the your Java runtime environment and then you can finish you have the project in your hand so under the project you have the SRC folder now if you want to run uh, with the test engine then you have to configure the test engine okay you can import the test engine or how you can import the test engine you can uh, go to the build and add the library and if you have the test engine then you can say next and the finish so now the test engine is configured in your project test is here your project now uh, we have the SRC folder right this is a project without the maven so that's why i am going to explain without the maven project in my up upcoming video series i will explain each and everything with the maven project and how we can deploy the maven project coverage report on the sonar web server so you can watch the continuously all my video session and you will get the clear idea about the sonar how the sonar is working and what is the coverage report how we can deploy the coverage report on the sonar web server and how to explain the explanation and the understanding about the report is very important okay so 
just think that we have this project and under this project I have I created the two package first is my test script okay and second one is the test sonar there is my test ng classes our source file okay and this is my uh, test ng classes so this is my test ng class okay and this is my java source file okay. <coughs> so now we can see the both file on my screen so this is suppose the java file okay this java file is developed by the developer okay and this will do some launching the applications this code we don't know because this is the developer code and they have written this code in the java and the code is deployed to the source code repository tool okay that we will explain later but simply we can try to understand from here with the simple java source file so this is the my java source file and this section is for the testers okay that is we are the testing team the automation team and we have written the one code uh, using the test ng annotation at the rate test okay and now we are you calling uh, this code so now how this will work so first when we try to run this test ng simply then what we have to do we just click on this one right click and run as test ng test okay this is the simple execution without the coverage report and you can see my test ng test sonar is the pass you can see the one test is pass there is no coverage report under this section so there are two ways to call with the coverage report first you can directly go to this one and you can call your test java file so first we will run with this one so test java file this we are running with the coverage okay we want to take the coverage okay okay so now you can go to the coverage section and now you can see the 92.3 percent is the coverage report okay now you can see the clearly the uh, ECLIMA plugin will provide you some coloring okay so the coloring part I will explain in the next video series okay see uh, the total coverage of this test sonar is the 92.3 so if you can expand and check we can go to the src folder under the src for the com.test sonar so com.test sonar means this is my com.test sonar this is my java source file so in the java source file it is saying 88.5 percent coverage okay so there are three instructions missed three instructions okay there are total 26 instructions in my test script all 100% execution so this is my test coverage report and this is my code coverage report source code coverage report okay. so this is the first way of how we are can launch the ECLM coverage project and the second how we can do it we have to right click on our test ng test script and then we can right click and there you can see this coverage section is there so coverage edge then you can run with the test ng test this will again launch and it will execute and again it will create the coverage report the same coverage report can see so there this is the analysis mode and the launching mode how we can launch and when we launch the HTML plugin then it will uh, give it will collect the coverage information about the local Java application then your test JUnit test or the test ng test which one you are using then the analysis sections how we can go to the analysis sections the analysis will go to the coverage this is the cover section the second one is the color highlighting okay this this part is called the analysis section so source highlighting the result of the coverage session is directly visible in the java source editor so this is my java source editor in the eclipse you can see the coverage <coughs> how to import and export this one i want to import this file so what i will do right click on and import section uh, sorry right click and the export session so how you want to export this one so there are the different type of the file format xml format html report and html report packed in chipped file csv file and jacob execution data file so basically we prefer the xml report okay so where it will go 
under this location and I will say the finish okay so this is the import and the export things is working so this is all about the ECL EMA plugin how it is working <music>